We are gathered here in the light of family and friends to offer into union two souls, two songs with strong and lilting melodies having joined in a marvelous duet for many moonlit nights will, at the end of this evening, become a new song. And to you, Miss Katie, I don't think my brother could have found a better partner. Chase and I were talking about this exact word earlier. I think you are the most selfless, caring, and thoughtful person I know. And I think he's really, really lucky to have you. Katie is funny, and she's kind, and she loves deeply. I could not have asked for a better man to love her and appreciate her and respect her and treat her like the queen that she is. <laughs> Cheers to a lifetime of happiness together. have fallen in love with my best friend and I couldn't imagine spending the rest of my life with anyone else. I love you more than you could ever fathom and I promise to make you feel as loved as you make me feel every day for the rest of our lives. I love you most and I can't wait to be your wife. I love you without knowing how or when or from where. I love you straightforwardly without complexity or pride. I love you because I know no other way than this. I love you now, forever, and always. By the powers vested in me by the state of California, as a minister of the Universal Life Church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Very evident here is how much love we can feel in this room, not only for the bride and groom, but for all of us, our families, the molding of our families together. I can say that we think both Katie and Mike have found their best friends that they will share their forever with, and that it turns out she gets the perfect life that we hoped for all along. Please join me in a toast to the newlyweds, Mike and Katie, we love you guys. <laughs> <laughs>